Hi there, uh, I'm Damon and we're back again uh, thinking about ways that uh, we can read the Bible and I thought I might share uh, another way, a third way that I've read the Bible in the past and found really helpful. In fact, this is uh, kind of the way that I'm doing it at the moment with my wife. Um, I just read my Bible again uh, and today uh, we're going to talk about uh, Bible reading programs um, and uh, books and things like that that can help you. Uh, read the Bible. There's a lot of these kind of out there uh, and I want to show you a couple that I've used in the past. I think this is probably one um, of my favorite. It's called the Daily Reading Bible. You can get it from Matthias Media. Um, you can Google those them and uh, find that. One of the things I uh, what I really like about this one uh, is uh, it gives you the passage itself uh, for you to read and then it gives you some questions and it gives you uh, some prayer ideas and often something to ponder. So it's like why don't you think a bit more about this and here's something you could pray about. Uh, really helpful, um, very simple, uh, fairly cheap, and you get 60 days worth of Bible reading. Uh, they pick the passages for you, so you don't even have to kind of try and uh, decide where to start and finish, uh, and it's really helpful. Uh, at the moment, <clears throat> me and my wife are going through this one called Search the Scriptures. It kind of takes you three years, and you go through the whole Bible, and it's kind of, it's been going well. Um, we've been enjoying it so far, uh, and it kind of, just gives you a couple questions. So after each passage, you kind of read it, and then it says, here's some questions that might help you think through what the passage is about, uh, and hopefully that will help you see things that you may not have seen otherwise. Uh, and instead of showing you the questions, I'll read the passage out in a second uh, for today, um, but instead of uh, showing you the questions, because I'm not really 100% sure on things like copyright and stuff like that, I'm, you can photocopy 10% of a book, so I'm sure you probably could um, show the questions uh, for today. But I thought I might share with you uh, one thing that I saw in the passage today that I probably wouldn't have seen if I hadn't have read the questions that were in this book. And then you can either use one of the uh, methods that we've used over the last couple of days, um, or uh, you might want to jump online and try and hunt down a daily reading Bible or something like that. Uh, that can be really helpful. There's lots of digital uh, Bible reading plans as well these days. Uh, feel free to jump online and kind of search for those. Um, but uh, my number one recommendation is Daily Reading Bible, uh, so jump into that, it's really good. Alright, well let me read you the passage and then I'll tell you something I found. Uh, we're going to skip, uh, we've been doing John chapter 1, uh, we're going to skip verses 29 to 34, I think that's right, yeah. And the reason we're skipping that is because uh, the passages that this book gives me are different to what we've done over the last couple of days. So the next passage that it kind of gives you, it starts from verse 35. But I might read out from 29 anyway, uh, but the passage it asks the questions about starts from verse 35. Let me just read from verse 29, uh, it goes to the end of the chapter, verse uh, 51. The next day, John saw Jesus coming toward him and said, Look, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. This is the one I meant when I said, A man who comes after me has surpassed me because he was before me. I myself did not know him. But the reason I came, baptizing with water, was that he might be revealed to Israel. Then John gave this testimony. I saw the Spirit come down from heaven as a dove and remain on him. And I myself did not know him. But the one who sent me to baptize with water told me, The man on whom you see the Spirit come down and remain is the one who will baptize with the Holy Spirit. I have seen... And I testify that this is God's chosen one. The next day, this is from the, where the passage for today uh, in the book starts. Uh, the next day, John was there again with, the two, with two of his disciples. When he saw Jesus passing by, he said, Look, the Lamb of God. When the two disciples heard him say this, they followed Jesus. Turning around, Jesus saw them following and asked, What do you want? They said, Rabbi, which means teacher, where are you staying? Come, he replied, and you will see. So they went and saw where he was staying, and they spent that day with him. It was about, the four, it was about four in the afternoon. Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, was one of the two who heard what John had said and who had followed Jesus. Uh, the first thing Andrew did was to find his brother Simon and tell him, We have found the Messiah that is the Christ, and he brought him to Jesus. Jesus looked at him and said, You are Simon, son of John. You will be called uh, Cephas, which uh, when translated is Peter. 
The next day, Jesus decided to leave for Galilee. Finding Philip, he said to him, follow me. Philip, like Andrew and Peter, was uh, from the town of Bethsaida. Philip found Nathanael and told him, We have found uh, the one Moses wrote about in the law and about whom the prophets also wrote, Jesus of Nazareth, the son of Joseph. Nazareth, can anything good come out of there? Nathanael asked. Come and see, said Philip. When Jesus saw Nathanael approaching, he said of him, Here truly is an Israelite in whom there is no deceit. How do you know me? Nathanael asked. Jesus answered, I saw you while you were still under the fig tree before Philip called you. Then Nathanael declared, Rabbi, you are the son of God. You are the king of Israel. Jesus said, you believe because I told you I saw you under the fig tree. You will see greater things than that. He then added, very truly I tell you, you will see heaven open and the angels of God ascending and descending on the son of man. Uh, One of the things that I found in the passage uh, that I wouldn't have noticed if I hadn't have read these questions was uh, has to do with how all these people uh, end up following or finding out about Jesus. It's really interesting. Um, I I didn't notice it when I read through, uh, but the first two guys, they follow Jesus because John says, hey, look, that's Jesus and he's important. Uh, And then uh, Andrew, uh, one of those two, uh, goes and gets his brother and takes him uh, to see Jesus. Uh, And then Jesus tells Philip to follow him. And then what does Philip do? Philip goes off and runs and finds his friend Nathaniel and tells Nathaniel that this Jesus guy is really important. I think it's uh, really interesting uh, that what we see here is this pattern of people kind of pointing to and showing how important Jesus is. These guys didn't even really fully get how important Jesus was yet. Uh, And yet they were already saying, hey, there's something about this Jesus guy that's really important and we should follow him and listen to what he has to say. I think that makes sense considering what we've seen over the last few days about how important Jesus is, about how uh, he's God and about how John the Baptist uh, said that he's not that important. The person we really need to think about is Jesus and pointed towards him. Uh, And so uh, it's really interesting um, that these these guys who follow Jesus are all pointed towards him by other people. And maybe that's the encouragement for us uh, to point our friends uh, and those around us toward Jesus. So that's where I'm going to leave it uh, for today. Um, Why don't you use one of the methods uh, from the last couple of days uh, to have a look through that passage uh, or jump online, grab a a Bible reading plan um, and uh, have a look at one of those. All right. That's it. Um, This will be my last video. Uh, Those are the kind of three most helpful ways that I've found to read the Bible um, in as I've done it in the past. I'm sure there are lots of other really helpful ways. Uh, I've found out about a brand new way just this week. Uh, Hi, Editor Damon here. Apparently some uh, noise got in the background of the rest of the video. Um, What I was saying was I found a new way uh, to read the Bible recently, uh, which looks really good. Um, I'm going to try and have a bit of a look into that. And hopefully that'll be really helpful. Uh, Helpful for me as I try to get to know God better. Because that's kind of why we read the Bible, isn't it? Uh, We read the Bible to get to know God better, uh, to know stuff about him, but also to know him relationally. Because it's uh, one of the ways that God relates to us as he speaks to us in his word. Uh, Anyway, it's been really great doing this with you. uh, And I hope you uh, get stuck into reading the Bible um, and really enjoy that and find it a profitable time as you get to know stuff about God and get to know God. All right, see ya.